We have been taught lies. Reality is not at all what we perceive it to be. We cannot survive any longer by hanging on to the falsehoods of the past. Reality must be discerned at all costs if we are to be a part of the future. Truth must prevail in all instances, no matter who it hurts or helps, if we are to continue to live upon this earth. At this point, what we want may no longer matter. It is what we must do to ensure our survival that counts. The old way is in the certain process of destruction and a new world order is beating down the door. If we do not act in concert with each other and ensure that the future becomes what we need it to be, then we will surely deserve whatever fate awaits us. Human beings are machines, levers which may be grasped and turned, and there is little real difference between automating a society and automating a shoe factory. Those who will not use their brains are no better off than those who have no brains. You can no longer pretend innocence. Your denial of the conspiracy will fall on deaf ears. You must accept that you have been cattle and the ultimate consequence of being cattle, which is slavery. History is replete with whispers of secret society. Accounts of elders or priests who guarded the forbidden knowledge of ancient people. Prominent men meeting in secret who directed the course of civilization are recorded in the writings of all people. The situation in which we find ourselves is due to our own actions or inactions over the last 44 years. Because it is our own fault, we are the only ones who can change future events. Education seems to me to be a major part of the solution. The remaining part is the abolition of secrecy. Through ignorance or misplaced trust, we as a people have abdicated our role as the watchdog of our government. If we had done our jobs as citizens, we would never have reached this point. Most of us are completely ignorant as to even the most basic functions of our government. We have truly become a nation of sheep. And sheep are always eventually led to slaughter. The New World Order will be a totalitarian socialist system. We will be slaves shackled to a cashless system of economic control. So Mr. Cooper, are there uh, larger numbers of people all the time who are receptive to your message and who are thinking a little bit more deeply and critically about these fundamental issues of government and politics that perhaps they did not give as much thought to in the past. Oh yes. Uh, in fact, the, I never dreamed that, that I would make such uh, an impact. Um, when I first began what I'm doing now, which was many years ago, uh, I was lucky if I could travel a thousand miles and collect three people in somebody's living room.